Hi everyone, this is Eric Franklin from CNET.com and today we're taking a first look at the Dell UltraSharp U2711. The U2711 looks like a larger version of the Dell U2410 released a few weeks back. Too much misplaced drama. The screen height is adjustable by about 4 inches. The panel swivels about 70 degrees left and right and tilts back about 25 degrees. The panel can be unscrewed from the stand and mounted Visa style on the wall. Unfortunately, there is no portrait mode like the U2410 enjoyed. The video connection options are located on the back and they include VGA, two DVI ports, HDMI, DisplayPort, Component, and Composite. Also included are two downstream USB ports and one upstream port. On the left side of the panel are two additional USB downstream ports and one cart reader port. Movies on the Dell look great thanks to the display's deep blacks and colors that look full and natural in the movie preset. Games also look great running at 2560 by 1440 and show no signs of ghosting or input lag. Its color saturation is among the best we've seen, easily as good as the HP LP's 3065's full and deep colors. On the Dell U2410, when viewing dark gray in the sRGB and Adobe RGB presets, we notice apparent static dithering. This should come as a relief to consumers that view this flaw as a major sticking point on the U2410. In power consumption, the Dell U2711 will cost you about $30 per year to run, compared with the HP's about $41 per year. The Dell UltraShop U2711 is one of the best performing monitors we've yet seen, but at a price of $1,050, its price will be prohibitive to some. The U2711 earns its high price, however, with an incredible performance, a plethora of connection options, and the monitor's piece de resistance, its 2560 by 1440 resolution. This is the monitor to buy if you have the budget. Honestly, even if you don't have the budget, you should probably just start pinching pennies because yes, it really is that good. Once again, this is Eric Franklin. It's been the first look at the Dell UltraSharp U2711. Hey folks, Brian Cooley from CNET.com. Now when we check the performance of a piece of tech, we check the performance of a piece of tech. If you love videos of cars and all their high tech and high performance glory, check out the CNET CarTech video podcast, CNET.com slash CarTech TV.